We will start, though, with quotes from PSG President Al Khaifi talking about a change that is afoot. For the French champions, we no longer want to be flashy and bling bling. No more glitter. I can tell you that we expect all of the players to do much more than last season, much more. We must become humble again. You must be disciplined on and off the pitch and whoever wants to stay in their comfort zone and not fight will be cast aside. We want players proud to represent PSG and ready to fight. Jules, I feel drawn to you, obviously, to start this. This seems all well and good, but uh, can Leopards really change their spots? That's true. I mean, this is the, the information that we were given uh, a few few weeks ago, even on the show, that he just confirmed publicly, I guess. But I take you back to 2019 when he said pretty much exactly the same thing. And I take you back to 2016 <laughs> where he said pretty much the same thing as well. So you're right. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Certainly in terms of the manager. And tonight we're being told that Christophe Galtier is pretty much done as the new PhD manager. He's obviously a not bling bling manager at all. Uh, so maybe this is the start. Luis Campos, the, sport, the new sporting director, is not a bling bling sporting director either, not like Leonardo, for example. So maybe this is what Nasser Al Khalaifi was talking, but then for what we're going to see on the pitch and the attitude from the players, yeah, I'm, I agree with you. Let's wait and see, because I'm not too convinced by that one. Yeah, sure, come on. What, what's a bling bling sporting director? <laughs> For some reason, no. bling bling isn't in Greg's lexicon. <laughs> Can you change? What does a bling bling sporting director do? I don't know. Does he turn up to, to to meetings and go into these to represent the club and transfer talks, looking like Mr. T? Right, from the Mr. A -team? T isn't a relevant <laughs> reference either. Well, it's just like all the jewellery. You know what I mean? That's the diamond I mean. earrings. The earrings, the bling, bling, bling. Uh, Robert, when I, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they did sign Messi last year and they have re-signed Mbappe. Yes. Brilliant players, but that, that's bling bling enough, isn't it, still? Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, Robo, when, when I think of bling bling, I think of you, mm. obviously. Obviously, uh, yeah. He's, he's saying all the right things, but surely it's just going out into the ether. No one's going to really react to this. Uh, no, and if you go, if you want to get away from bling bling and you want to get away from whatever the other things he said, party football and all that sort of stuff, there's one person you have to get rid of. Until you get rid of him, you're always going to be bling bling and party football. And that's Neymar, because he's the problem, I think, for PSG. He might be a great individual player, but he doesn't do it consistently enough. He's not a team player. It's impossible for the manager to get a shape of the team when you've got somebody like Neymar playing. And he's everything that a bling bling player is. And I would say to, to sort all that out, you've got to get rid of him first. Uh, let's go from Robbo in his bling bling sweater oh, vest. No, bling bling's now up there with that documentary that was made. <laughs> the, the documentary. No, don't see it. Uh, so, it's interesting Robbo brings up Neymar. This is what Al had to say. Neymar, part of the new project or not? We can't speak about this in public as some players will arrive, some players will leave the club. These are private negotiations. In an ideal world, they'd get rid of Neymar, yeah, Jules? Yeah, 100%. I mean, in a way, his answer to the question in that Marca interview gives it away. Otherwise, he would have said, no, no, he's our player. I mean, he, there was millions of ways for Nasser to kind of protect Neymar or defend it or make sure that the story was not going away, was going away, sorry. And instead, it's the complete opposite. All we talk about now is Neymar and clearly not being backed and not being supported by the club and by Nasser Khalaifi, which, again, we've been saying on the show for a long time now that they... They haven't just opened the door a little. It's wide open and the windows as well and the roof and everything you want because they want him They want him out. The problem is he doesn't want to leave to start with. He's really, really keen on staying. His contract has been automatically extended to another year, by the way, as if he didn't have enough years already on the contract that he wow. signed last, last year. And, and the third thing is who's going to come for him at 30 now with the, the wages that he's on? Remind us of those wages, Jules. He is 42, 43 million euros a year. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll say, to be honest, I've seen our budget here in the show. And I think, you know, maybe we get one or two out the door, we can get them in for a, you know, a couple of times a week. I mean, who, gives, who gives them these? Uh, what, what triggered the extension to the contract they already had that somebody clearly gave them, Jules, that means it becomes even more difficult? 
It was, and when you think, Craig, that it was that was just a year ago. I know, I know, a year in football is 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 long, and a lot of things can happen. But how you can give him a four-year deal a year ago that then increased automatically on July the first to another year, and then July the first following year to another another year, on that kind of wages is just incredible. At his age as well, because he signed, he was obviously 29 years of age. So it's just it's just crazy. The only way I see possible is a loan where PSG take most of that huge wages in, and then the, the, the loan, whether it's Newcastle, Juventus, whoever you want, take the other half or a quarter or a fifth or a tenth, I, I don't know, whatever they can. But still, regardless the way you see it, it's, it's an absolute nightmare for PSG if they really want to get rid of him. Uh, when you think of Neymar and criticism of him, you think of Shaq, of course, prominent in his uh, documentary. Shaq, do you want him at Newcastle? I'm, I'm not sure that I do. I, I'll be honest, he'll be, he'll be an incredible um, kind of signature signing to kind of launch whatever this new project may be. But there are a couple of issues with that. Certainly the feeling within Newcastle is that the new owners aren't going to spend the kind of money that had been suggested, that is going to be um, a slower building process on, on their part, and one way with a, a more long-term vision. Uh, I, I'm not sure that, that Neymar fits into anybody's long-term vision because of his age, because of, of, of his salary and, and how that will, will upend things and, and affect um, future transfer dealings. So it, it doesn't fit for, for Newcastle. Of course, there's been speculation around Juventus because they had interest previously. And maybe it's a better fit there, given their more rigid style and maybe wanting somebody to come in with, with a little bit of flair just to take them on onto that next level. But again, I, I don't see Juventus doing that without PSG taking on a significant portion of his own wages. Whichever way PSG are going to be left holding a lot of, um, or covering a lot of, 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 Neymar's, of Neymar's wages, and that's their own doing, because he doesn't fit into what they are, are saying they're going to be going forward either. If that's the rhetoric coming from the top of the tree, I just wonder then if there will be little pressure on the new regime to actually give them game time on the field. And there, then it becomes because you know if they're if they're trying to you know sweep the room clean uh, and look a little further ahead. Clearly, by the words, he's not part of that, mm -hmm. and, and no surprise there. Uh, so therefore, anybody picking a side from now forward in a football parlance will be under no pressure to play him. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.